Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome to another Emblem Roy Review Channel. Today's video is going to be a special one, you guys. As December's coming to an end, we're coming up to the new year, I figured I'd take the time and show you guys around my game room and every game and all my collect collectibles that I have. So if you guys haven't seen this channel, sit back and enjoy, and enjoy what you guys see on my uh, game room. Alright, so before I switch the camera around and show you guys and go over every game that I have as well as collectibles, I'm going to show you guys some stuff that I just don't have enough space for my shelf right now. So I'm going to go for all these and go over some of the stories if it has anything like a good story behind it. Um, so to start things off, you guys, it's going to be one of my Amiibos. It's going to be Kirby. I actually picked this up at Fred Meyer's uh, a couple months ago. It was going on sale for like five bucks. Um, I'm trying to collect the Amiibos, but at the same time, it's not something I'm really trying to pursue right now especially with how limited my game room is. So once I get my new game room updated and get it all fixed up after the renovation, I'll definitely be focusing a lot more on the Amiibos and I'm gonna to try to keep them in the original cardboard as well. <clears throat> the next thing is if you guys have watched my vlogs, I actually went and picked this up recently at my Walgreens. It is a Marvel X-Men figure, uh, Marvel's Magic. Super awesome, it's exclusively only at Walgreens, so I had to pick it up. Uh, I am trying to eventually start picking up more toys and everything like that to add to my game room, because toys were something that I really enjoyed, especially growing up as a kid. Uh, the next thing is also gonna be a Walgreens exclusive. It's actually gonna be a pop. Pops are something I'm not really trying to focus on a lot. Um, if I see one that I think is really cool, I'll definitely pick it up, Like if, especially if it's like Marvel or a video game reference or an anime that I used to watch. Um, this one follows into a Marvel. It's actually gonna be a giant spider hulk, which I actually thought was super awesome. This was about $15 that I spent at Walgreens. It usually goes about 20, 25, I think. Um, they had it on special for the holidays, uh, for Christmas and everything. So I had to pick it up. Um, so it was super awesome to be able to add this. Uh, the next thing I actually got was actually a Christmas gift I got a long time ago, probably a couple years from one of my old friends, um, and it's actually going to be uh, the Dragon Ball Z Dragon Ball set. Um, it's the Earth version, so you actually, if I can show you guys without them falling over, comes with this nice little pillow, has all the seven star, uh, all seven Dragon Balls all night nicely uh, padded out and everything. It was super awesome. I remember seeing this when I was, uh, I remember seeing this at the store that I, my friend got it from. It was actually super awesome. They actually have the Namekian ones too that I eventually want to pick up, but that's going to take a lot more space, especially since they're a lot bigger Dragon Balls. Going into some more pops that I got. Um, this one I actually got on sale. It was on clearance at GameStop. It is the Marvel vs. Capcom promotion. It is uh, Chun-Li vs. Captain Marvel. And I thought it was pretty cool, especially with Captain Marvel movie coming up pretty soon. So I definitely wanted to pick this up and add it to my collection because it's both video game and um, movie related as well. Some more pops. Um, it's going to be South Park's Mysterion. I picked this up the same day I picked up uh, South Park the Fractured Butthole um, for the PlayStation 4. Super awesome. Mysterion is actually one of my favorite characters from the game as well as from the TV show whenever they do the superhero special. Um, next one is going to be a Halloween special that I got at Walgreens. It's going to be an Oogie Boogie um, without his, you know, skin or anything, whatever you want to call that. It's just him with the bugs. I actually got this for my girlfriend. Um, she loves that movie, so it was super awesome to be able to add that. I also got another Walgreens exclusive. It is actually uh, the Joker uh, theme from uh, Suicide Squad. So super awesome. Batman is one of my favorite DC villain, uh, DC universe characters, and the Joker is actually one of my favorites as well. So that was super awesome to pick up. Lastly, for the pops, it's going to be uh, Snowman Jack. Kind of remind me of the Kingdom Hearts series, even though Snowman Jack wasn't part of it, but it's just gave me that feeling, so I had to pick this up. Um, going into uh, something really random, I got this for free at a GameStop from my local GameStop. Uh, the guys were just handing these out to free for anyone, and it's actually Destiny, the Forsaken playing card set. I haven't opened it. Destiny, you know, it's one of those love-hate relationship games that I have. If you guys have watched my videos, I've explained the reasons why. But, you know, I couldn't pass up something free, so that was super awesome. Some other things that I picked up at GameStop as well. 
um, is Pixel Pals. I picked up a Chun-Li and a Ken. Both were on clearance for 50% off um, for both of them. So I spent like five bucks on each. So I thought they were pretty cool, so I couldn't pass them up. So I was super excited to be able to add those. Um, this other thing is gonna be a gift for my brother. Um, it is a controller. Me, I'm trying to see who made this. It doesn't say, but it's basically just a controller that works for your TV, your computer, and everything like that, and you can play games on. Um, I think it has some built-in games. I haven't tried it out. Um, as you can see, he's opened it before. He didn't like it, so he decided, you know, since I love, love video games as well, he figured he'd just give it to me for free, which I thought was super awesome and very cool to add to my collection. All right, the last thing before I switch the camera around, you guys, is actually one of my favorite pieces for figures. I actually got this at Komori Con. Uh, probably six years ago. Um, my friend that bought me the Dragon Ball, sh she also bought me this uh, at Komori Con. It was a surprise. And that's actually gonna be a Yu Yu Hakusho uh, Yusuke figure. Um, I thought this was really awesome. Yu Yu Hakusho is one of my favorite animes, especially when I was growing up. I actually got her into the show um, back when we were, you know, when she bought this for me. So it was actually super awesome for her to pick this up for me. I eventually wanted to get the Kuwabara, Hiei, and Kurama one, but these things go super expensive now, you guys. They're like $80 a figure because they're just so much detail. If you guys want to, if I can zoom in on there, you know, the details and everything on here. I've been asked why so many times I haven't taken out the box. It's just because it's so awesome, I don't want to take it out, and the box alone makes it just super awesome. So, yeah, I'm going to switch the camera around, and I'm going to show you guys the office before I go and show you guys the game uh, games. All right, so this is the desk that I've actually been working on um, from all my videos and everything like that. I got my Apple computer that I recently picked up not that long ago. Um, it's been about almost a month, so this thing has definitely saved and made my YouTube channel a lot better. So I was super excited to be able to pick that up. I also got a Philips screen TV. It's a, th I think it's 42 or it's a 32. I think it might be 32 inch. Um, it actually was the kids's, but my girlfriend actually let me borrow it so I can start doing live streams up here for video games. I just need to get a camera for it, but that will be happening pretty soon, especially with Kingdom Hearts 3 coming out. I do want to make a video uh, live stream for that. And then I got my little tripod right there where it actually helps me get the angle that you guys see in the background. And then just all this stuff that I just showed you guys. I also missed some couple loose games. I got to find a spot for these. Um, so I'm going to Zoom, show you guys real quick. Um, so it's going to be Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, um, Yoshi's Island, and then a Sega Genesis game, Big Hurt. I don't have any sp uh, room for loose games, so yeah, I just wanted to put those on my desk right now until I can find a container to be able to put my loose games. Um, coming over here, you can see that I have some manuals and stuff like that. I got Super Mario Bros, Iron Sword, Top Gun, Dragon Warrior, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, I believe, Tetrisphere, and then my microphone box, and then an N64 box that Cooper gave me when I bought Sculptor's Cuts. Um, and then just some, you know, stuff, just miscellaneous stuff. Um, my tops that I use for my N64 game so I can alphabetize and everything like that. Then coming over here, you guys can see I actually have a Yoshi's uh, RC car that I got from Goodwill. doesn't have the controller, but it was still awesome. I just don't have any shelf space to put it on there. And then this hat was actually a gift from my girlfriend's mom. Um, she thought I would really like it, and I, I've enjoyed it. It's, it's super awesome. And then lastly, for video game related, is my Wii carrying case that I actually got from Goodwill. It was super awesome. I couldn't pass up on it. Now to jump into the games, you guys, I'll start with the top stuff first and then go on to the specific systems as well. So first things first, you guys can obviously tell I have a section dedicated to only Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts, if you guys don't know, is one of my favorite series, uh, especially on this uh, PlayStation. I grew up on it while playing on the PlayStation 2, and it's just the love for it has just been amazing. And I'm super excited for Kingdom Hearts 3 to come out later next month. Um, so I got this uh, metal figure, uh, super cheap, if you guys have seen on my vlog. It's a uh, Sora. I got this from GameStop. It's originally 50 but I picked it up for 25 I also got some pops. I got um, Mickey, Sora, and Riku. And then this necklace my girlfriend actually got from Japan, which was super awesome and awesome for me to use for a cosplay. I also got uh, from GameStop the regular Kingdom key. I got that for about 20 to 30 dollars i think at gamestop which was super awesome i'm going to eventually pick up uh, mickey's darkness keyblade as well 
and then you know just some of the games that i have i have from chronological order kingdom hearts kingdom hearts 2 because that's one of my favorites and then leading up all the way to 1.5 and 2.5 i'm missing all of them combined and as well as uh birth by sleep for the psp and 358 half days for the ds and i think that's it that i'm missing for that then you come in and see and you can see my mickey and dusk uh figures that i kept in the cardboard super awesome uh i got this for free while buying the figure sore figure from gamestop from when they had a special next we're going to go into my next series of games that i enjoy which is going to be legend of zelda start the things off you guys is going to be this lunchbox my girlfriend got me for christmas i actually decided just to keep it as a decoration just because of how small it actually is i couldn't fit a lot of my lunch in there especially since i eat a lot for lunch for at work um, so I decided to keep that right there, which is super awesome. Next is going to be her gift that I bought for her um, for her birthday. It's a Legend of Zelda uh, mug, but she didn't want to use it. So she decided to just let me add it to the game collection, which is super awesome. Then you come over here, you can see my Amiibos for Breath of the Wild, which was super awesome. I did have to open them because I did want to use them uh, for Breath of the Wild when they started releasing the special armors and everything like that. And I found out that they're actually super hard to buy complete now in the original cardboard. So I'll eventually add those amiibos again to my collection. And then I got this little figure that I got a Cooper a do, uh, from Cooper Store, Double Jump. Um, it is linked with his fire armor, which I thought was super awesome. And then I also got this figure as well. Um, it was actually from one of my first Game Hunters videos filming at Double Jump, and it's actually Ganador from Wind Waker. Super awesome, I was super excited, and I, 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 I just love that thing. Looking at it, it just makes me so happy because Wind Waker is one of my favorite games, especially for the GameCube. Then we come up here, you can see my uh, Starlink Battle for Atlas uh, figures that I got for the Switch. I got some of the weapons. I don't have any additional ships or anything. I haven't really tried collecting all the toys yet for it eventually i will it's just i haven't played that game for a little bit so i need to get back into that but still awesome to look at going back into legend of zelda you can see i have the legend of zelda the animated series completed for dvd super awesome definitely weird especially for a legend of zelda show um if you guys have not seen it i do recommend it you'll just be surprised of the voices that they chose and how their persona is especially for the games then we got my little Breath of the Wild mascot figure that I got from a toy store uh, at my old work when I worked in the mall. It was like a dollar, so I couldn't pass that up. And then I got um, Majora's Mask for the 3DS, my com collector's edition Ocarina of Time for the 64, uh, 60 Ocarina for the 3DS, and then one of my favorite games for the Super Nintendo, Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Then right, actually you can see in the back right here, I actually got linked to the past to make it complete in box. I also got the collector's edition box for Ocarina of Time and the collector's edition for Majora's Mask. And then this little display right here is actually a link to the past t-shirt that I got for uh, at GameStop. It's just a super awesome display to have in the back. And then you can't see it back here, but I actually have a Master Sword behind here as well. I'll have to find a new spot for it. Um, but these two things are just super awesome for my Legend of Zelda collection. I got um, Legend of Zelda for the NES complete in box now. Um, and it's got a protector that I got from Cooper store um, over at Double Jump. I just recently picked it up from in one of my vlogs. And then I got uh, Breath of the Wild, the bonus explorer's guide for the Switch, which was super awesome. I'll need to get another loose copy of it though, because that is actually sealed. I haven't opened it yet. So if I want to play Breath of the Wild again, I'll need to buy another loose copy because I actually traded mine to get traded a double jump to get bomb, uh, super, uh, super Bomberman the second attack from Cooper actually. Then we'll come over here. Uh, I got most of my Legend of Zelda games for you know GameCube, Wii, and Wii U, as well as a uh, one-up figure, and then the piggy bank my girlfriend gave me as well. You'll see some scattered Nintendo figures throughout the entire thing, like uh, Yoshi, Luigi. Um, I got my Game Genie that I actually got in the mail from uh, Goodwill. My NES cleaning kit that I got uh, in one of my Game Hunters videos from Retro Game Trader. Then I go over here, I got my Toki Complete Retro Collection Edition. I got that at GameStop. It actually is completely sealed, as well as my Sonic Mania that I picked up for Fred Myers. Both sealed, haven't opened yet. I'll need to probably pick up another copy of each just so I can play them. And then I got my Mario figures, uh, my Pixel Mario, 
as well as uh, my Nintendo GameCube Switch controller that I bought for Super Smash Brothers uh, Ultimate. I got this collector's edition wired one as well, my uh, Pro controller, and then some other controllers. I got the Super Mario one and the Crash Bandicoot and the adapter so I can hook up four GameCube controller for the Switch as well, and then my Mario Odyssey figure as well. Then I, back here I have my Pat the uh, my ultimate guide for the Nintendo that I bought from Pat the NES Punk at uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Super awesome. I still need to pick up a Super Nintendo one. And then I got um, my Mega Man pixel figure that I got at GameStop. And right below there is my first ever ga video game monthly box that actually has all my items, my miscellaneous items that I picked up from there. So that was super awesome to be able to add to my collection. Then I got my little Pokeball Plus that came with my Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Um, Let's Go Pikachu is actually sealed, hasn't been opened yet. Let's Go Eevee is the only one that I have loose. Um, that's where the Pokeball Plus came from. And then way in the back, you can actually see um, I got the Super Mario Maker for the 3DS uh, Special Edition. It's the 2DS uh, cheaper version. And then I got the Mario Kart 7 back here, if I can... And I'll move this real quick. I got that. Those are both the kids's, but I wanted to keep the boxes to add in my collection. These two DS's are both mine and my girlfriend's. I have the white and orange one. She has the black and blue one. So to be able to keep those, that was super awesome. And then I also got um, the NES Classic Edition and the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. Both are sealed. I haven't played them. I haven't opened them yet. It's just too awesome of a thing, and they're, they're just getting harder to find. Um, I had a hard time, especially looking for the Super Nintendo one. So I'd rather just keep them in their original boxes. I might eventually pick up some more if I can find them super cheap um, and play them. But for right now, I'm just going to keep those in the box. And then lastly, before I start showing you guys the games, I got this at GameStop. It was actually in their clearance bin. It's a third-party uh, wireless controller for the Super Nintendo Classic, and it's for the fighting game uh, for Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. And it's one of those enhanced controllers, so it helps you, supposedly. Um, it's made by uh, Hori, which I've never heard of the company, but it looks awesome, and I couldn't pass it up. It was like $5 in their clearance bin, so I couldn't pass that up. So yeah, let's jump right into the games. So if you guys can't tell, you know, Nintendo is a big part of my life. I grew up with Nintendo, uh, with Super Nintendo going up to the 64, GameCube, Wii, and so on and so forth. So I never really got into um, the NES because we never owned one. Um, well, at least I never owned one. My family might have, but not when I was a child. So I don't have that big of a selection of NES. I eventually want to get all the North American version games. Um, so I'm going to just start showing you guys and going through in here. And, you know, I got some good titles, nothing too sporadic, like $100 games or anything like that. But some of them are super awesome that I've enjoyed playing. Um, perfect example is Mega Man 2 and Mega Man 3. I really enjoy that. Mario Bros. I've also really enjoyed, as well as Maniac Mansion. Um, Ice Climbers is another one that I've also enjoyed playing. And then you come over here. And then, lastly, I got some of these ones. My favorite ones so far, though, have to be the Super Mario Bros. and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Both were both series are awesome to play on here, especially the Super Mario games, because I used to play Super Mario Bros. on the Super Nintendo all the time. And, yep, that will be it so far for the NES. Now to jump into the Super Nintendo. I grew up with the Super Nintendo, but we didn't have a lot of games. We had some games, but not a lot. Um, the very first one I got right here is actually one we did have, which is Batman uh, Forever, which is based off the movie. Not the best Batman game, but it's still pretty awesome. Um, and how I have it organized, you guys, it makes it a little hard to show you guys. But I do have some decent titles, nothing too crazy. Um, I do have both Final Fantasies 2 and 3, which are amazing games on there. Super Metroid was awesome. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Turtles in Time, that's one of my favorites for the Super Nintendo. Uh, Mega Man X is my favorite on the Super Nintendo, though. I do have Mega Man X 2 behind it. I'm missing X3, which is another good game. And then Street Fighter 2. So, yeah. Some decent amount of Super Nintendo. I'm gonna eventually go for the North American version for the Super Nintendo as well, but that'll be later down the road. 
Now, if you guys have been watching my vlogs or my videos, you guys have seen that I've been actually going for a complete N64. So I do just want to show you guys, I do have a very good amount of 64 games. As of right now, I have 185. So I am almost past the uh, 200 mark. So I'm almost done. I do have some of the very rare titles, um, but I'm still missing some of the crazy ones like Super Bowling and Worms Armageddon and Transformers Beast, War, uh, Beast Wars and stuff like that. But some of my favorite titles growing up as a kid, you know, had to be the Banjo Kazooie title, Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tooie titles, Donkey Kong 64, Star Fox 64. Um, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask you know we had some awesome games on here but we didn't have a lot growing up we only had maybe 20 20 games if that if I can remember um, Pokemon Snap and the Pokemon Stadium series was an awesome series to play I highly do recommend playing those ones as well you guys um, let's see yeah, most of these I have actually picked up from both from Double Cooper from Double Jump, GameStop, and Goodwill. So I got a good, decent amount. I'm almost there, but I still have some ways to go. Probably going to try to get that done before I go to Retro Palooza in June. Next, we're going to jump into is my GameCube collection. Believe it or not, some of these GameCube games are actually from my original uh, GameCube that I had growing up. Um, perfect example is going to be Animal Crossing. That was one of my favorite games growing up playing on the GameCube. If I can focus in on it. There we go. Uh, yeah, Dragon Ball Z Budokai was actually the game that got me into um, playing Dragon Ball Z games. Luigi's Mansion it has to be one of my favorite games on the GameCube system. Also with uh, Reign of Fire, Super Smash Brothers Melee, Super Mario Sunshine, and The Lord of the Rings. All of these games are basically ones that I've enjoyed growing up, minus uh, Disney's Party. That's actually the kids' that we picked up for them. But yeah, not that very big. I'll eventually be adding more to my GameCube collection. Now to jump into the Wii. Now, for you guys, if you guys didn't know, the Nintendo Wii was actually the first system I actually purchased with my own money. Um, when it first came out, I actually got good grades. I got straight A's for an entire term. So my parents said, here's uh, $50 for each A. Go buy yourself something you want. And I actually went and paid for a uh, Nintendo Wii. I had to wait until after Christmas, after it came out, because it was sold out at the game craze that I reserved it from. So I had a little bit of ways to wait. But some of these games are actually from my original collection from me growing up. Um, a lot of these are actually fillers that I picked up recently from either GameStop, Cooper Store, um, or Goodwill. Some of my favorites, though, are going to be Animal Crossing City Folk. It's the sequel from the GameCube version. And then going over to here, do I have anything else on here? Uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns is another fun game as well. Um, Red Steel is another fun one, as well as the Raymond Raven Rabbits uh, party games. I do enjoy those. Those are like kind of like a bit, a little bit of a knockoff of the Mario Party games. Super fun, but super awesome as well. Um, and then we come over to here. You got Mario Kart Wii for the Wii, which was super awesome. I do have the wheel for it and the original box that's actually stored away right now. Um, Kirby's Epic Yarn, just another super fun title. Um, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2, I mean, not 2, 3, one of my favorite ones. And it's actually, believe it or not, actually a pretty rare game. Um, I also have Game Party right here, which is actually factory sealed. I picked that up from Goodwill um, with a big bundle. <coughs> so I was actually super happy to get that um, factory sealed. And then coming down to here, you know, I got some, a lot of filler titles. Uh, Sean White Snowboarding Road Trip I actually got um, for Christmas with my Wii Fit board that I wanted. I got a bunch of Wii games that Christmas, um, and that was super fun. So that's actually the original one that I have, as well as the Super Mario Bros. Wii, Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, um, Super Smash Brothers Brawl. I actually remember picking this up. Um, Getting this for my birthday and I spent the 40 hours beating the campaign so I can actually have a smash tournament with my friends. Um, I got Wii Fit, Wii Fit Plus, Wii Music, Wii Play, Wii Sports Resorts, all original from my original collection as well as the original Wii Sports right here for mine. Um, and then jumping down to my last Wii game is actually going to be Xenoblade Chronicles that I picked up from GameStop recently from one of my vlogs. 
Jumping into my Wii U. Um, believe it or not, you guys, I still don't own a Wii U. Um, I'm super close to completing it though. I got, well, not super close. I'm almost halfway. Um, but I still haven't had the time to pick up one or the money yet, but I've been picking up the games. Um, so I can't say any of them that I've had any experience playing because I never played a Wii U. But I got some really cool titles, some awesome ones that I've been really excited for to play. Um, this one right here, Shantae's Half Genie Hero, is actually factory sealed. The box is not, but the game is factory sealed. And I picked that up in one of my uh, Game Hunters videos from Double Jump. Jumping down into here, we're uh, just coming up to an end of my Wii U collection. So if you guys have any Wii U games that you guys don't have and you think I need, just shoot me a message and I'll definitely make an offer for you guys. Um, if you have a Wii U that's going for cheap, just let me know. All right, now to come to one of my favorite systems for my game collection, you guys, and that's gonna be the Nintendo Switch. I have a fair amount of games, um, not a terrible amount. I don't have every single Switch game. I would like to have a complete Switch game, but because they're coming out with so many games, you guys, it's hard to collect. Um, so I'm just gonna go over some of the titles that I feel like are just amazing that you guys would need to have into there. Um, Bayonetta 2 is a definite because the Bayonetta series is awesome and I can't wait for Bayonetta 3 to come out. Um, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker is another good one. Um, Cave Story is a good third party game that is actually pretty fun, but it's also super hard, you guys. As well as the Crash Bandicoot uh, Insane Trilogy. Dark Souls Remastered is insane to play, you guys. I still haven't been able to beat this game yet. Um, I also recommend I Am Setsuno, which you guys can only get in the Japanese version. I got mine off of Amazon, which was super cool. Um, it'll do too if you guys like a. Uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. This is a good kind of like same game like that. Um, Kirby Star Allies. If you guys like Kirby and it's a very short game. I think I beat it in like six hours, but it's actually a pretty fun game. Um, Lost Fear is a great Square Enix game. If you guys like Square Enix games, Mario Kart, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is a must. If you, it's it's a fun game. You guys, you guys are gonna enjoy it. It's basically just a better version of the Wii U one. Um, then you can jump into the Mega Man Legacy collections. You got X and the regular one, as well as uh, picking up a Ubisoft game, Mario plus Rabbits Kingdom Battle. This is an insane, fun game, you guys. I do recommend picking this one up. Um, let's see. Octopath Traveler is another Square Enix game, you guys. I'm looking for the Collector's Edition one. I really want that in my collection. I'll eventually pick it up, hopefully soon. Owlboy is another one that you guys need to pick up. That's a good third-party game. Um, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, must pick up. Um, Shiny Residence, I've enjoyed playing so far. Splatoon 2 is another good one that you guys can play online. Starlink is another one if you guys like uh, Spaceship Battles and you like Star Fox. The Switch has the only one with Star Fox as an exclusive, so that's super awesome. Then, you know, you got your Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's another must. I, I, I highly recommend picking that up, you guys. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I also recommend, as well as uh, Yeez 8. Uh, that one's an awesome one, you guys. I've really enjoyed playing that. And then coming over here, you can see that I have my Super Rare games. Um, Super Rare is a company that makes games for the eShop, from the take games from the Nintendo eShop and give it a physical form. I have one through seven. I am actually missing eight and nine right now, and I think those are sold out. So I'm gonna try and see if I can find those later down the road. I do wanna try to get all the Super Rare games. So to jump down to away from Nintendo, you guys, I'm actually gonna go down to Sony, which is gonna be my Sony PlayStation 4 games. I'm gonna do my very best for you guys to see this. Um, I have some decent titles on here. PlayStation 4, I'm not trying to go for a complete. I do enjoy my PlayStation 4. Um, one of the ones that I've been enjoying playing is Final Fantasy 15 and X and X2 Remake. God of War is also super awesome, you guys. I also enjoyed Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, Spider-Man, Marvel, the Spyro Trilogy, South Park, the Stick of Truth, and the Fractured Butthole. I actually have my brother borrowing that right now. Um, the Order is actually a good game. I actually enjoyed playing that when it first came out. And then jumping into my rest of my Sony collection, we're going to jump straight into the PlayStation 1. I don't have that many titles for you guys. PlayStation 1 has just been super hard to collect, and there's just not a lot of titles that I'm familiar with. So if you guys know any, just please let me know and recommend any. Um, I do have Chrono Cross. I recently just picked this up in one of my vlogs. It is factory sealed. I got that from Cooper at his store. 
Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9 are a must that I enjoyed growing up playing when I had a PlayStation 1, as well as Mega Man X5. Then I got some PSP games. I did try to collect PSP for a little bit, but I just I, I just couldn't find a PSP for super cheap. So I have some. I would like to buy a PSP and get back into it. Then going into my PS2, you know, I got some decent titles, a lot of fillers though. Um, Final Fantasy X, X2, and uh, 12 are super awesome to have, as well as the God of War series. I've enjoyed playing the Jack and Dexter 1, 2, and 3 series. Um, the Lego Star Wars games are super fun also to play, you guys. And then, of course, one of my favorite series to play on here is the Ratchet and Clank, and as well as Okami. Ratchet and Clank, though, is one of my favorite Sony, uh, Sony exclusives, so I was super excited to be able to play that growing up as a kid. Um, believe it or not, I actually enjoyed Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights. That was super awesome. Soul Calibur 2 is also super awesome. Star Ocean is another one that I recommend you guys. And jumping into my PlayStation 3, you guys can obviously tell I'm a big Nintendo fan. Sony is one of the next ones, and then sadly, Microsoft will be number three. Um, to go to my PlayStation 3, you know, I got Bayonetta, Call of Duty, Black Ops 1 and 2, Modern Warfare, Civilization Revolution is one of my favorites on the PlayStation 3, as well as Skyrim, the Final Fantasy 13, uh, 13 series, God of War Remastered, Infamous is another great series for the PlayStation 3. And then you come down, you got uh, Ratchet and Clank All for One, Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction. I do have a space and time, but the disc is missing, so I actually had to get rid of the case. So I'll need to buy a new copy of that. So that will be it for my Sony. Coming into my Microsoft, you know, I don't have a big Microsoft collection because I never owned an Xbox. Xbox, Xbox 360. I do own an Xbox One, though. Fable was one that I enjoyed playing with my brother. Oh, let me focus right back in here, you guys. Sorry about that. Fable was a good one. Halo 2, the collector's edition, was super awesome. For the 360 games, Alan Wake was super awesome to play with my brother. Um, I also enjoyed playing Halo 3 o ODST. Halo Reach is one that I haven't played yet, but I've seen gameplay and it looks super awesome. Um, jumping into my Xbox One, once again, not that biggest collection. Um, Fallout 4 is something I've played a lot on it. Final Fantasy 15 again as well. Um, my Halo 5 Guardians Special Collector's Edition. I do have the Collector's Edition Xbox One, which is super awesome. Um, Far Cry 4 was fun to play on there as well. And then also get into Sea of Thieves and then Overwatch were super awesome games to play on there. Now to come to the last shelf, you guys, is going to be my Sega slash miscellaneous games and boxes. Um, last Xbox One game is The Witcher 3, another game I do recommend. Um, Sega Genesis, I never grew up having. Um, it's something new that I'm trying to experience. I've only played a handful of these games, you guys, um, like Mortal Kombat and Sonic. The rest of these I haven't had the chance yet because I just haven't had time to play my Sega Genesis. Um, another one that I really want to play though is the Ren and Stippy game because Ren and Stippy was super awesome to uh, watch when I was growing up as a kid. I only have two Sega Saturn games and that's just because Sega Saturn games are super expensive or super hard to find. I also have an Atari 2600 stack right here. I don't have an Atari 2600 yet, you guys, but I do want to pick one up because the Atari was actually one of the original game systems and I do want to collect for that as well. Um, then I got three uh, imported games. I got a Sega Genesis game that has four games um, imported to one that's all in Japanese. I got the PAL version of Metroid Other M that I got from Goodwill. And then this game is going to be a replica Japanese version of Final Fantasy VI. I actually got this from Double Jump, which was super awesome. And it was super, it, the design of it looks super cool. I haven't tried it out yet, but it just looks cool to have on my shelf. And then coming back to some Nintendo, I got my Nintendo DS and my 3DS games. Um, a lot of great titles that I've enjoyed playing on my 3DS. Nothing, you know, not a big collection, but still pretty awesome. Um, and then I got my Game Boy Advance All Factory Sealed Movies. Um, I got these from both games, uh, CD Game Exchange and eBay. All super awesome. Haven't opened them yet though, but they're still cool to have in my collection. Um, some more games that I got from CD Game Exchange are complete in box, or all these games. Um, haven't had a chance to play any of these yet, but you know, eventually I will. It's kind of hard to play all these games, especially. Um, and then coming into my NES games, you guys, they are all complete in box. Um, the boxes are pretty beat up, as you guys can tell, but you know, I'll buy protectors for all these eventually. 
Um, I think the coolest one I ever got though was uh, The Simpsons Bart versus the Space Mutants. That one was my first actually complete in box game I ever picked up. And then coming in my Super Nintendo, you know, I got Donkey Kong Country, The Illusions of Gaia, Kirby, uh, All Stars, Pitfall, which was actually the first uh, Super Nintendo complete in box, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Ultraman, which is one of my favorite games as well. And then coming to my N64, I do want to get all the N64 games complete in box as well, you guys. So I got a decent amount, nothing too crazy. So, yeah, I mean, it's I'm happy over 800 games you guys all super awesome it's going to continue on getting bigger and bigger i do need to get more shelves but eventually that will happen once i get my new game room so yeah that is going to be everything you guys thank you guys so much for sitting and watching and be sure to drop a like and a subscribe and i'll see you guys later